Okay, we are going to do more graphs. And in this question, we are dealing with inequalities. So here we go. Just get to work, right? Number 11. Um, let's take a look at the first equation. I have x minus y is less than or equal to negative 4. Let me work with this equation first. To graph something like this, we need to isolate the y first. Okay, so I just want to um, fix this question a little bit before I move on. So x minus y is less than or equal to negative 4. Isolate the y first. So to do that, minus x on both sides, minus x on both sides, and then get this cancels to 0, and I have negative y. Bring this down, less than or equal to, and then I have negative x uh, minus 4. Isolate the y. I have negative y right here. So I need to divide everything by negative 1. Divide everything by negative 1. I will get y, positive y right here, and then positive x right here. Negative 4 divided by negative 1 is plus 4. But we divide it by a negative 1. We divide by a negative number on, um, on both sides. Take the inequality symbol and then switch it becomes greater than or equal to. Okay. Take this and then change the direction because we divide by a negative number. Okay, so this equation is actually this. So we're going to graph this instead. And we're going to look at this instead. We're going to look at this equation instead. And how do we graph this? How do we graph this? Let's see. Um, you have many ways to do it. This is in the slope intercept form, right? So you can just do the slope intercept form method, or you can make a table. And that's my favorite because uh, that pretty much always works, right? That always works. So let me do a table. Uh, let me do a table right here. I have the x, and then I need to get x plus 4, right? For the y values, and then I need the points. I can pick any number for x I want. Pick some easy ones. I'll pick 0, and then I'll get 0 plus 4, which is equal to 4. That's a y value. So I get 0, 4. And then the next easiest number should be 1. So let's do 1. 1 plus 4 is equal to 5. x is equal to 1, y is equal to 5. And you can do a few more if you would like. For lines, for straight lines, Two points is enough. Two points is enough. Okay, so I think I'll just put everything right here, I guess. Yeah, I have a spot right here. Mm, let me make the graph big. Because this equation is about graph. X, Y, let's label the points. So I have 0, 4. So let me do 1, 2, 3, 4. Then that's the first point right here. And then 1, 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And need to go up one more. So 1, 5. You go to the right once and go up 5 times, which will be right here. And uh, there are a few more things that I have to uh, make a note on. First, we have an inequality. We have y is greater than or equal to. So let me drop down some notes right here. Uh, yeah, I'll drop down the notes right here. So, note. For the symbols greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to, or just equal to, we use a solid line. Solid line. Okay? So, that's the first situation. If you have just greater than, but there's no line under it, so there's not equal sign. So that means we don't want to include that specific line. Or when you just have a less than, we are going to use um, dash lines or dotted lines. It just depends on how you draw it. <laughs> so that's the first note I want to point out. Since we have y is greater than or equal to, it's a straight line. So let me just draw the straight line right here. Okay, and then it's not just an equal sign, right? Because if it was just an equal sign, then that would be it. A straight line will 
that will be it. But we want to make sure y is everything that's bigger than or equal to this. y is everything that's above this line. So y is above, so let me shade this in like this. I want to take this region, right, this part right here. So this part right here represents the first one, the equation of the first one. Okay, the inequality of the first one, technically. So I should have write this as x minus y is less than or equal to negative 4. But this is actually just the same as that. Okay, but just I just want to answer the question. So I want to label the original equation, uh, the inequality, the original inequality from the question, which is the same as that. So that's the first part. That's the first part. Next, we are going to do x is less than or equal to sorry, x is less than or equal to zero. So let me make some notes. So second note. When we're talking about graph, when we have just x is equal to a number, how do we graph that? Well, I'll just show you some examples and you will see it. Let's say I want to graph x is equal to graph x is equal to let's say uh, three. Okay. So what this is telling us is we first need to go to x is equal to three. So one, two, three. I should use black right here. One, two, three. So x is equal to three right here. And this the y doesn't matter, right? There's no y in four in this equation. So we actually it's actually just going to be a straight line. Okay, this is a line of x is equal to 3. Because all the points on this vertical line right here, the vertical straight line, you should have to say vertical line instead of a straight line because all lines are straight anyways. Okay, this vertical line, any point on, the vertic on this vertical line has x value is equal to 3. For example, if I just, uh, let me finish all these little lines right here. This, this point, on this line, on this vertical line, it's equal to 3 because x value is 3, come up y value is equal to 1. This point above, right, this point right here, will be 3, 3 for the x, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 3 for the y. Any other point that you pick right here, it doesn't matter what the y value is, but the x value is always going to be 3. The vertical line it's going to be x equal to 3 for this vertical line. So if I want to have, let's say, 1, 2, 3, 4. I want to graph x is equal to negative 4. Go to the, um, the x value negative 4 right here. And then just draw a vertical line. Just draw a vertical line. So whenever you are dealing with x is equal to a number, go to that x value first and then draw a vertical line. Draw a vertical line. How about if x is equal to 0? How do I graph that? Well, x equal to 0 is right here in the middle. Right, this is x equal to 0. So, that's exactly this vertical line. And this vertical line is exactly the y-axis. Okay? So, on the second equation, uh, the second inequality that we are uh, going to do, which is x is less than or equal to 0, right? That is just the vertical line right here in the middle. So let me write this as, this is x is equal to 0. And then, again, it's less than or equal to, so it's a solid line. So I will make this a solid line. But since it overlaps with the y-axis, let me just draw it like crazy like this. I want x to be less than this line. So x is less than some number, it's to the left. So it's to the left. I'm going to shade this in to the left. Anything to the left. Okay. I think we have one more. Why it's greater than we could zero. And again, let me make the third note. How do we graph a line that's like y is equal to some number? I want to graph y is equal to 2, for example. Then, I need to go to y value, which is equal to 2. So go up 1, 2. Instead of a vertical line, I think you have guessed this. When y is equal to 2, we have a horizontal line. 
So this is the equation of data. Okay? Pretty straightforward. If I want to do y is equal to negative 5, y is equal to negative 5, I go down, um, I go down the y value to negative 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then I just make a horizontal line. Horizontal line, and that's it. How about y is equal to 0? y is equal to 0. You don't go up, you don't go down. You stay right here. This is y is equal to 0. And then that's the horizontal line. y equal to 0. And that coincides with the x-axis. So vertical lines for the x is equal to a number. Horizontal line for y is equal to a number. Okay? Same logic behind this too. In this case, uh, y is equal to 2. On this line, all the y value has um, 2. All the y value is 2 on the... Uh, all the points on this line has y value 2 on this line. So for this, it's 1, 2. Same logic as this. Go back here. We need to grab y is greater than or equal to 0. And then, with, as we just mentioned, y is greater than, uh, y is greater than or equal to 0. It's the x-axis. And, you know, I actually have a blue pen and the reason I have a blue pen is the situation right here when we are dealing with like multiple graphs on the same uh, same x and y plane I actually have a blue pen and maybe one day that you will see me holding actually instead of two you will see me holding three pens but I'm not there yet <laughs> anyways I'll just use my special guest my special blue pen right here to get y is equal to Zero first, right? Why is greater than that's just draw the y is equal to zero first, which is this, okay? And then um, I want it above, right? So y is bigger than or equal to zero, so that's above. So the blue right here is y is greater than or equal to zero. The red part right here is x is less than or equal to 0. And then the black part was x minus y is less than or equal to negative 4, according to the original equation. And when, you the, when the question is asking for us to solve by graphing, we're looking for the overlaps, the overlap region of this three part, which is exactly this. So maybe I can just make this like call this in better. So this part is a solution. Okay, this part is a solution. Maybe you want to like do another graph for it. Doesn't really matter as long as you kind of just cover the overlap like this. And then you can just say something like here is the answer. What are the solutions? And that's it. Okay? And now I'll just show you guys one more time all of this.